Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Noob Army Tycoon video, and in this one, we are going over which setup in this game gets you the most kills the fastest. This is easily the best overall setup in this game. Pretty much the only way to beat this setup is to either use the missiles from the base that just instantly kills everything in the center, or use this setup as well. So, let's go over what you're gonna be using. If you want the most kills possible in this game, the only only noob you should be using is the elite robot railgunner due to the fact that his range is so massive and he does 1050 damage pretty much one shot to most units in this game the ship you're gonna be using is gonna be that heavy guided missile destroyer because it does a ton of damage it has very good speed it has a decent health and good range it's very good at farming bases like when the um, enemy units come across their bridge for the first time of course you're gonna be using the heavy railgun tank the most health great damage and overall very good unit and then the air vehicle is probably the weakest part of this setup but you're gonna be using the heavy gunship plane because it's very quick it does a good amount of damage and overall is very fast to respawn and then your super noob is gonna be the engineer because it will repair both the elite robots and also the heavy railgun tank so why is this setup so much better than my last setup video well for one there is no reason to not use all elite robot railgunners if you're going for purely kills as you guys can see the range on these guys is literally stupid the special forces soldiers over here are getting shot at well okay one the gun chips took them down there but before they even reach this square, or about right when they reach this square, they're gonna get sniped from the elite robot railgunners. And they are gonna do this down every single pathway that enemy units can come from. They literally spawn camp every single base. So I am for once using an actual formation setup that I think is a very good one to try out. So the formation that we're gonna be using is very simple. We have a like, and an upside down v shape for the vehicles in the front then we have the super noob kind of in the middle so it can repair all those vehicles and then i have one rail gunner in between the vehicles and super noob but then the rest are just all the rail gunners the reason why i do this setup is because with all of these heavy tanks in the front like this they can somewhat absorb all the incoming damage from your enemies versus having the elite robot railgunners take the first hits and overall is a very well rounded spread out formation and the engineer can heal pretty much everybody from here so it is a very good positioning on them for that regard and now of course this isn't necessarily the best test because everyone in this uh, lobby is rather weak but i promise you this setup will destroy anybody literally this is the best setup in the game for getting kills and my proof is right here because i am fifth for the daily kill 70,000 something and i've only been running this setup for maybe eight nine hours tops and i got 70,000 kills you just get a dumb amount of kills now i have to figure out where my where did i put my boats over in here so this is how the boats are very very useful what i recommend you do with your boats if you're going for mass amount of kills is you want to put your boats in between a base that is a little bit weaker the reason why you do this is these two players as you can see are a bit weaker these boats are gonna farm the crap out of these bases as you guys can see pretty much nothing is getting out of the base that is why it is so effective to use these boats because they can pretty much spawn camp anything and everything and then whatever those boats won't get from there the heavy uh, tanks and the elite robot railgunners all of these guys will finish the job so again i know this isn't necessarily the best test because this is a rather weak lobby but I promise you this setup will work against anything. I literally got fifth and daily using this. Now the other setup that I showed earlier this week is also a very powerful setup, but if you wanna go for the absolute most kills possible, the most kills possible with like no exception there, this is the setup I recommend you use. There is just no way you're gonna be beat while using this setup. The only downside of this setup is if you have two players spawned next to you, you can sometimes have your elite robot railgunners get a little bit stuck on the bridge because they have such long range. They will never leave your spawn point because they will farm the boats on either side. Luckily in this server that is not happening, but I will recommend you watch out for that. And yeah, overall, as you guys can see, everything is just getting destroyed very, very quickly. The setup is very, very powerful. 
and I definitely recommend if you guys are going for kills, if you guys are trying to get on the leaderboard, if you guys are going for the daily leaderboard, any of that stuff, this is the setup to use. Pretty much nothing will beat it, and you are pretty much covered from anything if you're using the setup. The real only thing that will give you trouble besides other players using this setup is going to be very simply just the missiles from the base that you can send out. But then again, the missiles are a trouble for literally everybody. But anyways, this is my video going over what I think is the best setup in the entire game for getting mass kills. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if this helped you out, comment down below what you guys think of this formation and build. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!